uh, and especially with such a new industry, there's so many bad genetics out there. And, you know, people are trying to search for the best prices on seeds or clones. And it's like, hey, uh, $10 or sorry, 10 cents a seed, you know, it's a deal, right? But a deal for what? What are you getting? Yeah. And I think, you know, a lot of the time that I talk at like shows and stuff about people is it's really it's really hard because there's a lot of seed companies offering really cheap seed right now. And the question is, this is not like buying in bulk at Costco, you know, and it's discounted. Like it's still really high quality vodka, but it's Kirkland vodka. You know what I mean? Like, right. when, like it's, Kirkland's it's, is basically like, gray goose in a different bottle. Yeah. Right? It's, it's, you're not getting gray goose in a different bottle. What you're getting is most likely a product from a breeder who created too much inventory that they're looking to move. And if they don't have a lot of great information, if you're not like wowed by their data package and they should have a data package, not just a photo of a COA and a cola and tell you it grows great for craft flour in New Jersey, you know, like that's not enough. You know, it's very buyer beware. So I think people are very attracted by the low prices because they think I want to save money. But what they're really doing is limiting their market potential because even on the craft flower market, you know, we know that if you're growing something that everybody else is growing, doesn't have great, just has okay structure, just has okay terpenes, you're not very getting very much for your craft flower product. And we know outdoor growers who are growing rare, unique, highly dense, big nugs with three to 4% terpenes, and they're getting between four and $700 a pound wholesale. Wow. So that's like double to triple what other folks are getting and it, it has to do with the what they're what they're bringing to market it's not just their salespeople are geniuses i mean they have great salespeople, but you have to have a quality product so so what you save 50 cents a plant in may you know like so what you saved you save five thousand dollars right know? would you would well, you lose the number yeah. And then, but $5,000, I mean, that's nothing on the flower end. If you're able to sell your flower for double or triple a pound. And I'm not even talking about yield. Like we're not even going into like the differences in yield on this stuff. Right. Cause we all know small airy buds, they do not weigh. So you have to grow so much more to get the pounds that you would from a real dense, heavy resin craft flower variety. So it's really hard because everyone wants to save money and they think I can save on my seeds. I can save on my plants. I can save on my clones and they are shooting themselves in the foot for later in the year. You get what you pay for. Right. Right. Well, it's, yeah. Wow. That uh, <laughs> it's, it's very interesting because as so many farmers we encountered did exactly that, they went for cheap genetics and they have inferior crop when it comes yeah, to harvest and, time. And the other thing about the cheap genetics too, like I said, the, the reason they're so inexpensive typically is because it's a new company and they just want to move units. You know, they made 10 million units of whatever, and they need to move 10 million units and they don't care how they move it. They just need it out of their warehouse. For right. And, and, and something like seeds, uh, you know, when you're in that commodities market slash for seeds and you're just looking at seed as a commodity, not as, you know, a boutique genetic strain yep. that's going to help your market potential um it's it's kind of treated just like distillate where it's a race to the bottom exactly. what's, the cheapest, what's the cheapest price i can find my seeds for what's the cheapest right. hey i but, need a thousand kilos of, of distillate yeah, exactly. you know what's the cheapest price i can get it for but right but, problem, it's, but it's not the same but distillate is not seed you know distillate right. is a very defined product that you can then use for value you know to do other things with with the seed you know it stacks against you. That seed may not germinate well. Even if the germination report says 92%, you know, it's, it may not actually be 92%. Feminization report might look good. How many hermaphrodites do they record per acre? Can, when you ask your breeder, well, what's your hermaphrodite rate per acre? They should know that answer, you know? Right. So like hermaphrodites, that's huge labor costs. Dead plants, plants that aren't vigorous and die, dampening off as an issue from the seed because it wasn't created properly. Um, lodging in the field due to wind, you might lose 10% to a high wind event if they're plants that lodge. And then let's get to yield. Maybe they don't yield very well. They have larfy open bud structure. So it maybe could be considered craft flower, but you're not going to get the pound, you know, the weight off of each plant that you would get with a really dense 
craft flower, I would consider craft flower variety. So it's not that you just, it's not like buying cheap distillate where, okay, distillate, distillate the thing. It's like every time you go along the, the grow cycle from seed to final product, you're getting hit with extra labor costs, extra processing costs, losses in the field, you know, losing 10% of your field to pests or wind because they're, they're not very good plants. And then the flower, you're going to have a hard time moving because if they were selling that seed at 10 cents a seed and everybody and their brother has it, if everybody and their brother has it as a flower product, you're probably not going to get top dollar for it. Right. right? If it's common, you know, so people are, it's, it's surprise. It's, I think why we see tissue culture and clone. I, I literally I, just wrote that down because yeah. I'm writing down a ton of questions as you did that. And then one of the ones coming up was tissue culture. And you just so happen well, to get to it before I, before I mentioned yeah, it. Yeah. And I think I'm saying that's why they can charge so much because people say, look, I'll pay $5 a plant because, well, there are many reasons people like the idea of tissue culture. And we can go into my thoughts on tissue culture if you want. But I'm just saying it's like it's split the market. There's people who want really cheap seed. And then I kind of took out another section like, oh, wait a minute, cheap seed is bunk. I know that. I'm going to go for the most expensive thing on the market because expensive means quality. It's like the, the thing, like if it's, if it's expensive, it'll work better for me. And so I think that's why there's such this huge window. You've got people paying 10 cents a seed and then you have people paying $5 a tissue culture clone. You right. know, you might get the same quality flower out the other end depend you know so it's yeah, really expensive cool. expenses has a different expectation of value out the, out the back end but i mean there's got to be some type of fine median in the middle where it really comes down to you know cost versus value 